to We Don't Have Cookies, where possibilities are possible. Here's your host, Jason Marshall. Hey guys, sorry there was no show on Monday. I was so wrapped up with the holidays and family that I didn't put anything together. I'm not going to lie, I feel bad that I didn't put a show out, but... I had a great time with my family. My oldest daughter was home from Ohio State, and it was nice to have her around the house again. We had a lot of fun on Thanksgiving, and over the weekend, we had a photographer come over, and she took pictures of the family, and we haven't had any professional family pictures done in a long time, so that was nice. And just hanging out and playing video games with the kids was a good time, so uh, sorry there wasn't a show, but I don't think I would change a thing. It was really fun. I was hoping to have somebody on today, two different people actually, but things just didn't work out that way, so this will probably be a short episode. But on the last episode, Kenny Bolin said Maya is going to be mad when she finds out that Dan Severn has replaced her as my bailiff, and I mentioned that she could bring him on an episode of Martial Law, and it could be bailiff versus bailiff. Well, at Lone Wolf GAM on Twitter asked, if it's bailiff versus bailiff, who's going to be the bailiff for that episode? And that is a really good question. <laughs> I didn't even think of that when I brought it up. So whoever it is will have to be pretty tough just in case Dan gets out of hand. If it happens, it'll be in January or February. That'll give me some time to find the right person. I joked about getting Mike Tyson, but you never know. I didn't think I'd be able to get Dan Severn. I also thought about getting Ken Shamrock, but I'm not sure how Dan would feel about that. If you listen to the episodes I did with Dan, he didn't seem to like Ken very much, but who knows. In all reality, now that I know Dan, I know I don't have to worry about him putting his hands on a woman. I probably have way more to worry about with Maya than with anybody, so maybe I'm looking at the wrong people. Maybe I need to see if Ronda Rousey's up for it. You never know. This is We Don't Have Cookies, where possibilities are possible. We interrupt this podcast to bring you a severe weather warning. This is Frankie McDowell, my own TV station live in Sydney, Nova Scotia. People in California, be prepared, because the earthquakes could be really bad in California. We can't predict earthquakes. The earthquakes are too unpredictable. California is well overdue for a major earthquake for people living in the entire state of California. It's going to do a ton of damage in California. If anybody lives in California, be prepared for a major earthquake anytime soon. Take care, stay safe. Don't get caught in a major earthquake. Wow, thanks, Frankie. If you live in California, please remember that someday there might be an earthquake, so be prepared. <laughs> I saw the story online. KFC made an internet escape pod that blocks wireless signals. The basic principle is you pay for this thing, you get your family inside of it when you want to eat dinner or whatever meal, and no signals can get through so you don't have to worry about cell phones and all that stuff during dinner time. Currently, it's $5,000. It's 50% off if you buy it right now. That's a hell of a deal. I guess you can use it for way more stuff than just eating meals, but... It's got the head of Colonel Sanders on the top of the tent with his arms outstretched over the sides of the tent. And if I saw right, it looks like he has legs going down the back of it. It's very weird looking. I don't know what to make of this thing. And it's just kind of weird that KFC keeps making this kind of stuff. They came out with, uh, let's see, what did they come? I talked to Benny Mac about it. Oh, they came out with scented candles. They've come out with bath bombs. Uh, corsages for proms. I can't even think of all the stuff that they've come out with, but we've talked about it on the show over the years. I emailed them to ask them exactly what is going on and to see if they could send somebody on the show to talk about it. So hopefully they'll send somebody on the show and we can talk to them about it. I think it would be a lot of fun to uh, get a little bit of insight into what they're thinking. <laughs> I don't know if they need all the extra attention they're making these things for. I'm assuming that's why they're making them. I can't think they're actually trying to branch out with this stuff. 
but it looks like it would cost them more to develop these things than it would to just run more ads. I don't know. It's very weird. I have a rule at our house where when you're at the table, you're not allowed to use your phone. That's just how it goes. And we've done that ever since we've moved into this house. Uh, before, when I lived at the other place, we didn't have a place to eat dinner. We all just sat in the living room and we had TV trays and we just sat around and ate there and we'd watch TV and most of the time we were on our phones. But now that we're here, we got a, we got a kitchen big enough to have a kitchen table in. We, uh, we don't use our cell phones, so that's not really a problem around here, but I can see how it could be at other places. Anyway, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to play a BS fact by Beej, a song called Cell Phone Vigilante by the Arrogant Worms, and when I come back, I will crown a dumbass of the year for November. <laughs> I was having dinner with a friend I was telling a story and nearing the end When his cell phone rang and he said I gotta take this call So I waited for a minute or two Then I did what I had to do I grabbed the phone from his hand and threw it against the wall And as it lay there on the ground I picked my leg up and I put my foot down And crushed that evil thing to smithereens Cause I'm the cell phone vigilante So don't you take that call when you're at the movie theater Or shopping at the mall And if I hear you talking about your boring life I'll make it end right now so I don't have to hear it twice Yeah! What it used to be only crazy folks Talk to themselves and laugh at jokes that no one else but them could even hear. But since the cell phone came around, there's crazy folks all over town, and it's like they're all just yapping in my ear. And now that they've got text messaging, they're always thumbing on their thing. I don't know what they're doing, but it ain't right. Cause I'm the cell phone vigilante And you won't be here long If you make your ringtone an annoying hip-hop song And if I see you driving with a phone at your ear Next time you get a call, it'll be ringing out your rear Yeah! Well, I went up to Jerry and crushed his blackberry I went up to Tony And I busted up his Sony I went up to Bill His Nokia I didn't kill And who knows you might be next Cause I'm the cell phone vigilante So don't make me intervene And have to clean up your bad manners rough and violent means so put the cell phone down and take a little time to walk all the way over to a safe landline and that way I won't have to hurt you yeah thank you very much Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Power. Appreciate that. Power to the people. Power. Yeah. The Tackling the big issues. Big That's issues. That's right. G'day. Beach here from the BS Pod and also newpodworldorder.com. Did you know that the center of a donut is 100% fat free? There's one for all you health nuts out there. Don't forget it. So if you're out going running, jogging, whatever, don't forget to have a light snack. Eat the inside of a donut. I mean, why not? Do you have a Dumbass of the Year nomination, idea for the show, or just want to say hi? Send an email to jason at wedonthavecookies.com or call 929-266-9342 and leave a voicemail. I was watching TV this week. And I saw a USAA commercial where a guy says that he got in an accident 
and he called them before he called the police. I think that is very sketchy. I can't believe they actually put that in a commercial. I think this guy needs to be investigated. There's just something that isn't right in that scenario. And today, while I was emailing KFC, I tried to email USAA to tell them that I thought that was a weird thing and USAA may need to look into that guy. They might want to consider impeaching him from their insurance company plan. (laughs) But it is impossible to email USAA without signing up for USAA. They want you to call in, and I wasn't about to do that, but I just wanted to talk about that. I thought that was very weird that he made a com- they made a commercial where one of their customers is talking about how they called them before they called the police in an accident. It's just so weird. All right, we're going to get into crowning a dumbass of the year for November. The first nominee is a person in Maine who left their dentures in an unmarked plastic bag at the polling place on election night. That seemed very weird to me. I actually thought it was just somebody doing a prank. That was my take on it. But the guest on that particular show was Mike Canistero, and he made a lot of good points, seemingly from experience with elderly people, that this is something that they do quite often. And he convinced me, so... Who knows what happened there? The next nominee is nobody. (laughs) Because for some reason in November, it just didn't come up very much in the shows. I'm not sure why that is. But uh, that's it. So this guy is the one and only nominee for November. And that makes him November's dumbass of the year. All right, guys. I think we're going to wind things down. I want to tell everybody... I just got a new Amazon link up on the website. If you use that, I get a percentage of whatever you buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So if you're looking to help out the show and you want to do it in a way where you don't have to take any money out of your pocket, you're just shopping as you normally would on Amazon, that would be a great way to do it. Just go to wedonthavecookies.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, click on that Amazon link, and if you can, just save it to your browser and then you can use it anytime you want. That would help me out a lot. And now is a good time spreading the word about the show. It's probably hard to believe based on this particular one. <laughs> but I have some big shows coming up in December, like the Christmas episode, the 2017's Dumbass of the Year episode, and a lot more, plus some announcements involving new segments for the podcast. You can hear me talk to Dave Nelson about one of those segments on the last episode. And January is going to be a lot of fun, too. Karen Rontowski, she's going to be kicking off the very first episode of the new year to do another tarot reading. And there might be a guest on that show that hasn't been on the podcast in over two years. And when they were on, they were very popular. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the podcast. The show is available on Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, TuneIn Radio, Sirius XM, Spoke App, Spotify, Stitcher, and anywhere podcasts are available. That's it for me this week. I'll be back on Monday with the new show for you. Thanks for listening. Tell your friends about the show and leave a review. See you next time. might want to consider impeaching him from their insurance company plan. <laughs> <laughs>